glory to your name. the bread of life yes you are hallelujah the prince of peace yes you are El Shaddai yes hallelujah you are Jehovah Rapha yes hallelujah you are Jehovah Nisi yes you are hallelujah you are Jehovah Shama hallelujah you are here and you are there and we give you praise this afternoon oh God for your consistency yes we give you praise this afternoon for who you are in our lives who you've been in our lives, hallelujah, who you continue to be, and whether we're consistent, hallelujah, whether we're unstable, you are the same God, so we thank you this afternoon that you are the God that is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore, you are the God that is consistent, you are the God that us nor forsake us. You are the God uh, that will be with us until the end. God, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise this afternoon. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise this afternoon. Come on, wherever you are, just begin to grab hold of this. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise this afternoon. Hallelujah. We push past how we feel today. We push past our mental state. We push past our emotional state. We push past what's going on in our body. And we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise while we live. We will bless you. I will bless the Lord at all times this afternoon. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah. We exalt you. Hallelujah. We exalt you. Come on, let's exalt him. Let's lift him up. Hallelujah. We cast down every idol in the name of Jesus. Every idol that we've lifted up before you, whether it be our place of employment. Uh, hallelujah. Whether it be pain. Hallelujah. Sometimes pain can become an idol. Uh, and we can begin to lift pain above. Hallelujah. The healer. Uh, we can begin to exalt our pain higher than we exalt God. Uh, how do we do that? We begin to speak of our pain more than we speak of the healer. Uh, we begin to speak of our pain. We begin to speak of our circumstance. Uh, we begin to speak of our disgruntlement. Uh, hallelujah. And we lift it higher above God. But today we cast down uh, every idol this afternoon. God, we cast down uh, every idol this afternoon. Yes, we cast down uh, every idol this afternoon. Anything that we've exalted higher than you, we cast it down today. Uh, in the name of Jesus. And we give you full access, Father. Uh, access into our hearts. Access into our minds. Uh, access into our spirit, uh, access into our agenda, uh, access into our daily routine, God. Uh, we give you access this morning. Uh, in the name of Jesus, we acknowledge today uh, that there's nothing too hard for our God. Uh, we acknowledge today uh, that there's nothing too difficult 
difficult for our God. We acknowledge today that there's no sickness, hallelujah, that can be lifted above our God. So we worship you in advance, God. Hallelujah for who you are. Hallelujah. We cast down this morning, this afternoon. We cast down every imagination that would exalt itself against the knowledge of God. Every imagination that would come to tell us otherwise, other than what it is written. Every imagination. Hallelujah. Even when Jesus was in the wilderness. Hallelujah. And Satan appeared to him. Hallelujah. When Satan tried to put seeds in his mind. Hallelujah. About God and about himself. The response that Jesus gave was, it is written. Hallelujah. And so today, we acknowledge, hallelujah, that the written word has power. Come on. We acknowledge today that the written word has authority. We acknowledge today that the written word has the power to shift our trajectory. We acknowledge that the written word of God still works. Hey! Ho! Hallelujah! We acknowledge that the written word of God shall prevail. I need somebody to type it. Shall prevail. The word of God shall prevail. The word of God shall prevail. The written word of God shall prevail. If he spoke it, it shall be. If he spoke it, it shall come to pass. If you hold it, it is so. The written word shall come to pass. Glory. Hallelujah. We acknowledge that the written word shall prevail, that the written word has power. Oh God, we seek you this afternoon, God, for another measure of power. Hallelujah. We desire power this afternoon, oh God. Not power to show up, not power to show off, but we desire power. Hallelujah, to live right. We desire power. Hallelujah, to talk right. We desire power this afternoon, oh God, to line up. Hallelujah, we need power to line up, Father. There are many of us, oh God, that are even on this live watching. Hallelujah, that desire, hallelujah, to align ourselves with what you have for us in this season and in this time, Lord. Hallelujah. But many of us, uh, hallelujah, don't have the strength to do it. Uh, hallelujah, we need power. We need power to align ourselves. Power to line up. Power to produce. Many of us are not producing uh, because we don't have power. Uh, God, give us power to produce, Father. Uh, in the name of Jesus, power uh, to push out what you put in us. Uh, power, hallelujah, to produce what it is that you told us to do for this time and for this season. God, give us power. Hallelujah. Even your word declares that after the crucifixion and after you rose, you rose with power. Hallelujah. And even after you rose with power, glory to God, you told the apostles and the disciples, hallelujah, to wait for power. Glory to God. In Acts 2, you said, wait, and I'm going to do you with power. Hallelujah. And in this season, God, that's what we need. We need an upper room encounter, Father. We need an upper room experience, Father. We need power this afternoon, Lord. Give us power, Father. In the name of Jesus, give us power. Come on, somebody ask for it. Give us power, Father. In the name of Jesus, what is power is the ability to do something or act in a particular way. Hallelujah. We need power. Hallelujah. We need power to act. We need power to do God. We need power. We need power. We need power. Give us power. Give us power. Supernatural power. Come on, position yourselves. Give us power. Come on, come on, position yourself. God, we need power. Come on, 
God, we need power. We need power this afternoon, Lord. In the name of Jesus, give us power, God. In the name of Jesus, give us power, God. In the name of Jesus, give us power, God. In the name of Jesus, give us power, God. In the name of Jesus, give us power. Come on. In the Bashaya. Position yourself for the power. Hallelujah. Those have been feeling powerless. Hallelujah. Power is available. Glory to God. When you feel powerless in a situation, it is only God. Hallelujah. The, the, the person that has all power. Hallelujah. That can give you the power over your situation. God, give us power. Hallelujah. We are not powerless. Hallelujah. But we have supernatural power from on high this afternoon. Oh, God, help us to activate our power. In the name of Jesus many of us are holding uh, power uh, hallelujah and not using it uh, hallelujah but God this afternoon we say activate our power uh, activate our authority uh, activate our power uh, activate our authority uh, even those that are stuck in a tight place uh, you don't have to stay there uh, you don't have to be there uh, God calls us to activate our power uh, so that we can move uh, hallelujah out of where we've been uh, into where we've been destined to be uh, oh God Give us supernatural power. We speak the supernatural into existence this afternoon. Come on, we speak the supernatural into existence this afternoon, God. That unexplainable miracles would begin to manifest. That unexplainable occurrences would begin to manifest. That unexplainable activity begin to manifest as a result of the power of God. Oh, I feel God in here. Hallelujah. I'm looking for a miracle. As the clock sister said, I'm expecting the impossible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see the invisible. Hallelujah. There's unseen help. There's invisible help for you. That's available to you. Hallelujah. We tap into the unseen. We speak. Hallelujah. The unheard. Hallelujah. We tap into supernatural power through supernatural faith this afternoon. Oh God, we say lift our faith. Oh God, lift our faith. Lift our faith. Lift our faith. Lift our faith. There are some right now, God, that are lacking in their faith. Hallelujah. Because of what they've seen. Hallelujah. There are some this afternoon that are wavering in their faith. Hallelujah, because of what has happened. Father, in the name of Jesus, restore each person this afternoon in the area of faith, Father. This next level of blessing cannot be attained until your faith is restored in God. Until your faith is restored in God. Hallelujah. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Hallelujah. Your faith has to be restored in this season for the next measure. Hallelujah. And if we be honest, our faith has really wavered. Glory to God. That's how it, 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 our, our, our fear of the Lord. Komanda Shaya. Is not where it should be. Our faith and our fear. Hallelujah. If you have faith in God, then you have fear of the Lord. Glory to God. Because you understand his power. And you understand his authority. Glory to God. If you have, if you believe, hallelujah, in the power of God. Glory to God. Then you also fear the Lord. Because you know the extent of his power. If we fear the Lord, there are certain things that we wouldn't touch comically. If we fear the Lord, there are certain things that we wouldn't touch. Yes, hallelujah, we find things funny. Glory to God. And yes, we, 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 we joke about things. But if we really had true fear of the Lord, there's certain things that we wouldn't joke about. Glory to God. There's certain things that we wouldn't touch. Hallelujah. And it's because our faith, hallelujah, and our fear has diminished. Glory to God. But I believe that a season and a time is coming. Uh, glory to God. But we will begin to see, hallelujah, the hand, glory to God, uh, of God, glory, hallelujah. We'll begin to see the Lord move as he once 
move seas begin to open huh? sickness hallelujah there was a time hallelujah where cancer hallelujah would drop out of people it would dry up and drop out huh? there was a time glory to god huh? hallelujah where lumps on breasts would begin to dissolve huh? glory to god there was a time hallelujah Era Mashaya, huh? hallelujah where where people hallelujah that were dead would come I, I was in hallelujah growing up as a young girl there was a prominent preacher that died in our church glory to god and my bishop brought her back to life I'm talking about these signs shall follow them that believe. Hallelujah. They shall lay hands on the sick and they recover. They shall raise the dead. Come on in here. There is a, a, a power. Hallelujah. That the people have not tapped into. I feel the Holy Ghost. There's a power. Hallelujah. That the people do not be, are not able to tap into and do not possess. Hallelujah. Because there is a level of sacrifice uh, that you have to give uh, in order to produce a certain measure uh, and a certain level of power. Uh, hallelujah. I need somebody to tap on the screen. Uh, hallelujah. And I need somebody to begin to write. Hallelujah. In your comment section, uh, there's another level of power I need. Uh, there's another level of power uh, I need. There's another level of power uh, I need. Uh, bring your power up. 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 See, there's a level of sacrifice that you have to give to the Lord. There's a sacrifice of putting your plate down, of putting your face down. A level of sacrifice. Hallelujah. That means I can't be carnal. Oh my God, I'm about to lose some people on this live. That I can't be carnal. I can't give in to my flesh. Hallelujah. I can't give in to the lust of the flesh. The lust of the eye. The pride of life. If I want to produce power. I can't give in to. Hallelujah. Sins of commission. Hallelujah. I can't give in to sins of the tongue. Hallelujah. I can't give in to what I desire. Hallelujah. But I've got to take up my cross. And follow him. So that I can rise up with power. Come on somebody. Type on the screen. I'm right. Uh, with power. Uh, hallelujah. I may have been in a dead season, uh, but I'm rising uh, with power. Who am I talking to uh, this afternoon uh, that the enemy tried to bring you down uh, and the enemy tried to kill you in your last season? Uh, hallelujah. Even as we're coming out, uh, hallelujah, of Resurrection Sunday. Uh, hallelujah. Two weeks ago, uh, hallelujah. They thought that he was down. Uh, they tried to kill him, uh, but he got up with power. I prophesy uh, that the thing uh, that has come to kill you uh, is about to cause you uh, to rise with power. Uh, so by the time I'm rising uh, with power, they thought that you were dead. Uh, they thought that they killed you. Uh, they thought that the attack worked. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, but the mission did not work. Uh, hallelujah. That you're rising with power. I'm rising with power. I'm rising. I just heard the Lord. I'm not see a wind past me. And I heard the Lord say, Tell the people to ascend. Hallelujah. He said, Tell the people to ascend. There's a wind that just passed me. He said, Tell the people to ascend. Hallelujah. The word of sin means to go up or climb. Hallelujah. There's another level of power you're going to have to climb for. You're going to have to go up. Hallelujah. That means cast off weights. A sin. You can't ascend holding on to weights. A sin. That means you can't ascend. Allow the people to pull you down. A sin. Ascend. 
God is calling you up. He's calling you to ascend to another place. He's calling you to ascend to another place. He's calling you to no, Shia. Lift your hands wherever you are. Ascend. 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 He's calling you to ascend. He's calling you to ascend. That means you can't stay in this place too much longer. He's calling you to ascend. Shandela He's calling you to ascend. That means at some point this month you're going to realize that the place that you're in is beneath you. He's calling you to ascend. That means I've got to go up. Which means if I'm going up, I'm leaving something behind. He's calling you to ascend. That means if I'm going up, that means I'm leaving some things behind. Ascend. Ascend. Hey. See, we can become so familiar in a seasonal place. We can become so comfortable in a passing season. In a place that we were just supposed to pass through. Glory to God. That we can allow it to interfere. Who I feel God. To interfere where we were supposed to go. Hallelujah. For some of you where you are. It was supposed to just be a stop. It was supposed to just be a seasonal stop. Hallelujah. But you stayed. Hallelujah. Some of you where you are, it was supposed to just be a stop, but you decided to stay. Hallelujah. And in this season, God is opening up a window. Hallelujah. For you to ascend. He's opening up a window for you to come up to that Shanai. To come up to that place that He's called you to. Hallelujah. He's calling you to ascend. And some of us have attached ourselves when we stay. We've attached ourselves and we put in commitments. Ah, who am I talking to this afternoon? We've attached ourselves and made commitments in a place that was supposed to just pass through. In a place where we had no business staying. A place where we had no business making our residence. It was supposed to just be a passing through place. But we begin to make commitments in the pass through place. And we begin to put our word and loyalty in a place, glory to God, that we were never supposed to stay in. Who am I talking to? Hallelujah. We began to make covenants. We begin to make covenants. Hallelujah. In a place that we were supposed to pass through. Hallelujah. And so now there's a psychological attachment to a place you were never supposed to stay. It was just supposed to be a stop. Psychological attachments and emotional attachments and even written contracts. But God said, I'm giving you another chance. Oh, come on, Shia, to ascend. He said, I'm giving you another chance. Come on, Shia, to ascend. I'm giving you another chance. Hallelujah. To leave this place. Hallelujah. And go up. And go to your honorable Shia, your ordained place in God. There's an ordained place. I hear you, God. I'm the Messiah. And he said, the reason, the reason you're feeling drained, the reason you feel like you're dying, the reason you feel like there's no life is because you're not where you're supposed to be. You're at a stop. For Obosaya that you were never supposed to stay at. Hallelujah. And the measure. Oh God, I hear you. Woo! Woo! We serve a bad God. I hear him. And I don't mean bad. I mean good. Good isn't bad. Y'all know what I mean. 
you don't you feel lifeless in this place because it was just supposed to be a place of provision it was never supposed to be a place of promise and purpose the Lord has dropped in my spirit glory to God hallelujah the prophet Elijah in the book of Kings Moshiach, first Kings I believe it's 17 hallelujah and the Bible hallelujah says that the Lord told Elijah to go east and hide by Cherith brook and hallelujah he said drink from the brook and eat of the ravens bring you for I have commanded them to bring you food and Elijah did so as the Lord commanded him and he camped in Cherith hallelujah but after a while the brook dried up the Bible says I'm in 17 verse 7 the book of 1st Kings hallelujah says but after a while the brook dried up hallelujah and there was no rainfall anywhere in the land after a while the brook dried up hallelujah the brook was just a place where he was supposed to stop hallelujah it was not a place that he was supposed to stay hallelujah and if he tried to stay glory to god then it says then the lord told elijah go and live in the village near the city hallelujah of sidon i have instructed a wood a widow there to feed you if he would have stayed at the stop he would have died oh my glory i said if he hallelujah would have stayed at the stop he would have died and there are many of you that are staying at stops and that's why you feel like you're dying hallelujah because you set up a home at a stop glory to god you've taken up residence at a stop it was supposed to be a place of the pass through not the place of purpose a place of provision not a place of promise hallelujah and that that's why you're dry. Hallelujah. Because what once brought you life dried up. Who am I talking to this afternoon? Hallelujah. It used to be a place of life. It used to be, hallelujah, a thing that brought me life. It used to be a thing that stirred me up. It used to be a thing that ignited me. Hallelujah. But now the thing that once gave me life, the thing that once ignited me, is slowly killing me. Hallelujah, and slowly causing me to dry up. And that's why God is saying, you have to ascend. Ascend means to go up. You've got to go up to the next phase, to the next place, to the next person, the, the, the next phase, the next place, the next thing that God has purposed you to go to and be a part of. Glory to God. You cannot ignore the voice of the Lord share the Messiah when he begins to speak to you glory to God you can't ignore the voice of the Lord when he says okay that's enough move hallelujah even in your relationships glory to God there are some relationships that are seasonal hallelujah and when you try to continue what is seasonal hallelujah when you try to bring light to what's dry glory to God all it does is it begins to dry you out and it begins to kill you and it begins to bring you down what are you trying to keep alive what are you trying to resurrect that has died what are you trying to continually spew life into hallelujah keep continually trying to spew life to that's dry God says you got to move from the dry place he said move from the dry place because it's going to kill you he said move some of you are in a dry land some of you are in a dry land and God is saying why are you still here this season has expired some of y'all are in dry relationships he's saying why are you still here it's dry now I ain't talking about marriage hallelujah but I am talking about uh, relationships he's saying why are you still here and it's dry and it's killing you 
He's saying, why are you still in the place that was only supposed to be for a season? Hey! He said, I'm calling you to shift so you can live. He said, I'm calling you to shift so you can live. I'm calling you to shift so you can live. It doesn't matter if your father, your mother, your cousin, your auntie, hallelujah, was in this place. You have a prophetic word hanging over your life. You have an ordained destiny. Hallelujah. Hanging over your life. And what works for your father, what works for your mother, what works for your brother, what works for your sister, what works for your cousin, what works for your auntie, won't necessarily work for you. You've got to Line up with your ordained destiny. Shabbat. We cannot afford another year to go by. And we are out of alignment. With the word of God that's on our lives. We cannot allow another year to go by. And we're unproductive. Unproductive. The excuse was the pandemic. Now, why are we still unproductive? Things have opened up. Why are we still unproductive? A lot of times it's because we are in a place that we cannot produce. We're stuck at a stop. And God is saying through prayer, that's where you're going to get your strength to shift. That's where you're going to get your strength to ascend. That's where you're going to get your strength to move. Many times, if we be honest, uh, we get so comfortable, uh, hallelujah, that we can't move. Uh, hallelujah, because we're in our comfort zone. Uh, but it's through prayer that God begins to ignite you and stir you uh, and give you the strength to move. I speak to every person stuck at a stop. I need you to share this live with somebody. Somebody needs to hear this. I pray for every person stuck at a stop. Every person stuck at a stop. Every person stuck at a stop. I speak to them right now in the name of Jesus. I stir that animasia. I speak to your spirit. I command your spirit to begin to stir. Horoboshaya. That you realize and come to the understanding and realization that there is more than where you are. That you come to the understanding and the realization that God has a greater level and a greater measure. Horoboboshatandababahaya. For you. That you stop and understand. That there is a mandate on your mantle. Horoboshaya. That will not permit you. Hallelujah. To stay in a dry place. That there is a mandate on your mantle uh, that will not permit you uh, to stay uh, in situations, uh, in relationships uh, that kill you uh, and bring you down, that there is a mandate uh, and, uh, on your mantle, uh, hallelujah, that will that, that that is requiring you, uh, hallelujah, to line up, I need somebody to write on your screen, I'm lining up, uh, 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 I'm lining up. I'm lining up. I'm, I'm releasing and losing every weight. Hallelujah. That's keeping me stuck. Hallelujah. Every weight. Hallelujah. That's keeping me stuck. Hallelujah. In my seasonal place. Glory. I'm lining up. I'm lining up. I hear Korama Satan. The Lord says, and this isn't for everybody, but I'm hearing him say this, and he's telling me to say this. Take your life back. The Spirit of the Lord says, take your life back. Take your life back. 
Ira Masaya. You don't have to explain. Take your life back. I feel an authority on this. Take your life back. There are some of you that have not felt like yourself. Don't look like yourself. Hallelujah. Nothing around you says yourself. Take your life back. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. You don't owe them a conversation. You don't owe an explanation. Take your life back. Bring your flesh under subjection. Bring your flesh under subjection. Bring your flesh under subjection. Sometimes, hallelujah, this sounds weird, but sometimes the enemy will use you against you. Sometimes the enemy will set you up to a place and use you against yourself. You are the reason sometimes, hallelujah, that you're not moving and that you're not shifting, but you allow an opening for the enemy to begin to infiltrate your mind and it becomes you against you with your decision making hallelujah and you've got to cast the devil out he has no place in your decision making hallelujah the devil is using you against you hallelujah if you know hallelujah that there's something you need to do and you're fighting within yourself. Hallelujah. About what you know you have no business fighting. Within yourself about. And you know that you haven't been in a place of prayer. But that there's been an infiltration. Infiltration. You have to fight your flesh. And you have to fight the voice in your mind. Telling you to do the opposite. What God has commanded you to do. What do you mean? There's a thought you thought and then there's a thought that the devil brought. Some of you are at this brook of charity and the devil is saying, I know God said move, but don't move. Don't move. Mm -mm. I know, I know this, that, and that, but don't move. Because you, you don't know what's in that town. You don't know that widow. You don't know if she's going to line up. Don't move, say. And because... He knows there are areas in you that lack faith. He begins to speak to the weak part of you. And so now, your strength is at war with your weakness. But you've got to cast the devil out. And you've got to take authority over your body. You have to take authority over your mind. You have to take authority over your future. And you've got to move as the Lord has directed. I love you all. This morning I wanted to get in, um, get on here. I haven't been on. I've had a very aggressive schedule. Um, for those that don't know, um, I pastor a church with my husband. So it can be very, um, it can be very uh, uh, busy. Um, those that are in the Atlanta area, if you want to come visit our church, it's 3393 Lawrenceville Highway. Sweet 300 um, and it's called Freedom of Atlanta if somebody could put that on the screen Elder Shanika if you could put it on Facebook and if somebody could put it on Instagram Freedom of Atlanta 3393 Lawrenceville Highway Sweet 300 Lor um, Tucker, Georgia and so those that can't come visit us um uh, it's this on steroids every Sunday. And those that can't come in, um, if you want to watch us online, you can go to Freedom of Atlanta online. We, we stream every Sunday on Facebook, Freedom of Atlanta. I will save the live. Um, I love you all. Um, I'll be starting, I'll be uh, 
starting another mentorship program in May. That information will be available on Facebook and on Instagram. It'll be on my website, www.glamempowerment.com. Um, and that'll be, thank you, Jasmine. That'll be in May. So, um, all right, I love y'all. I'll see y'all next Tuesday. Y'all be blessed of the Lord. Lord, I'll see y'all next Tuesday, 12 p.m. We're going to go up.